getting answers from all across Northern California. This is the CBS 13 News at 10. A big chill is headed to the Sacramento region again tonight. Temperatures are expected to drop to near freezing levels in communities across our area. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sherman Roger. And I'm Curtis Ming. So how low will it go? Let's get right to CBS 13 meteorologist Christine Hansen with tonight's chilly temperatures. Christine. Yeah, we do have a very chilly night ahead. Our temperatures last night were on the cold side. We're not looking at any record-breaking temperatures, but certainly we're going to see a very chilly evening ahead. Uh, as you can see from our satellite and our Titan HD right now, we've got a few high thin clouds moving in overhead. Now we don't have any freeze warnings in effect tonight, but still very cold, patchy frost and fog likely overnight tonight, especially between the hours of about four and six, upper 20s to mid 30s. We'll see milder temperatures midweek. Here are temperatures already this evening, 32 in Fairfield, 33 Sacramento, 31 in Marysville, or about 34 at this hour. Milder in the foothills, a lot of cold air draining out of the mountains and our surrounding hills, 39 in Auburn, 39 in Placerville, and 32 in Sonora. Temperatures in the high Sierra right now still at 10 and 15, but we'll see those temperatures drop into single digits and in some cases below zero. We're forecasting our temperatures to drop into the mid to upper 20s. We'll have a complete list of what we expect overnight and your complete work week forecast or holiday week forecast coming up. Sharon. All right, Christine, thank you so much. And Sacramento has opened an overnight warming shelter to help homeless with the freezing weather. Now, this is the third night in a row temperatures drop below 40 degrees, prompting the city to open the doors at the Southside Park Pool House. It has blankets, heaters, snacks, and even a kennel for homeless <coughs> pets. Organizers say they've only had a handful of people come in. We're still trying to get more people. We're actively going out to places and trying to talk to people. And um, actually, tonight we had people waiting for us to open at 6 o'clock, which is the first time that that's happened. The shelter is staffed by volunteers and city staff. They also help connect the homeless with medical and other support services.